Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. It's time to get the scoop with Sarah. I'm Jennifer Laporte. I'm an actor and I live and work in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. It's amazing just how long running this show is. And I think that's just such a testament to the Hardys and like the fan base that it's really um, fostered. And so, yeah, coming in uh, on season eight was awesome. It was awesome. I've always been aware of the show because it's one of the big ones that shoots here. Um, And I kind of secretly was always hoping to like, get a chance to be on it. And it just, it just worked out. And, um, it, there was a lot of newness. I think this season we had, um, a new showrunner, John Tinker come in. There were a lot of new characters that came in to hope Valley. So, uh, it was really exciting. Yeah, I love Rachel so much. She is definitely a young woman at an age where she's like trying to find herself and she's trying to grow her wings. And um, it was just really special to get to portray some of that and her very sweet love story with Christopher. Um, It was just, it was a lot of fun. I like, I, I really love her arc of, you know, really finding herself and her confidence, um, kind of apart from her mom. I I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I like to think that Rachel and Christopher somehow or other are like having their love story play out. Um, so we'll see. I would love to see her, um, really grow and mature even more. Um, She's still uh, younger and like quite defiant of her mother. um, And I would love to see her like really take a stand and decide what's best for her rather than doing what her parents um, expect of her. Yeah, they're so nice. I, when I, kind of binged more of the show before coming into it I really fell in love with um Lee and Rosemary and I was so excited that the majority of my scenes were really with them um they're such powerhouses and and uh you know when we're just talking as well as people they're just like wonderful welcoming funny people so it was just it was great they were so welcoming and wonderful and they've like all of the leads of the show have clearly they know the world so well you know they've been doing the show for so long so um it kind of takes the burden off of you when you're a newbie coming in and you're like oh, okay great well I get to be in it with these people who really like they get the world they get the story I'm in good hands I know Rachel got to wear so many good outfits. I, every time, I mean, I think my favorites were like the freedom alls, of course, cause that was a really cool moment for her. Um, but I, I'm trying to think, I really haven't done much in that period. I would say film wise, um, I've done the sixties, I suppose. So that's like a period, but, um, it's really fun. I, I really like the, um, the costumes and how they make you like just move differently. Um, it is really cool to work on as an actor. Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, I think one of my favorites was the um, school graduation scene, because I I remember that day, like there were so many actors and characters that um, Rachel doesn't have a lot of crossover with. And so to get to like spend time with those actors in a big group scene and just hang out was just a lot of fun. Um, and I really, one of my favorite scenes to shoot, which was also the last scene that I shot was um, Rachel and Christopher's um 
very sweet, like nighttime scene where Rachel is really encouraging Christopher to give, you know, his relationship with his dad a chance and just encouraging him to be open hearted and just, you know, try. And uh, I, I really love that scene. It was very sweet. I just, I think he's such a great actor. He was such a fun scene partner to work with. Um, us being both like newbies on the show this season um, was really helpful. And he's just, every day he brought like different ideas to different scenes. And he was really passionate about um, telling Christopher's story and was just such a safe, like wonderful, wonderful actor to work with. Um, so I just, I think he's great. I love watching Christopher's arc on the show too. Um, I just think it's it's a really beautiful storyline. This is so polarizing. <laughs> um, it's true. I mean, this love triangle. It's it's the question on everyone's mind, um, including my own. Um, but I do have to say. I would say I'm team Lucas, um, just because I think their, their connection and their foundation of friendship is, um, it's just, it's, it's their, their friendship is such a solid foundation for a relationship. I think there's a lot of care, um, there between both of them. So. Yeah, that's actually, it's such a vivid memory for me because it was quite hectic. Um, I actually got that audition. I think it was like a, a weekday, like morning. And I knew I had to shoot it that day because my schedule was just very, very hectic. So I called my friend and I was like, Hey, can you help me tape this at like 10 o'clock at night? Um, and there was something kind of magical about that because it didn't give me a lot of time to like overthink anything. And I think sometimes the best things in life happen when you don't have time to overthink and you just kind of have to go with your gut and just do it. And um, it ended up, you know, working out, which was amazing, but it was quite a, it was quite a hectic experience. I remember it was just one tape. Um, we sent it off. Um, my friend too, who was helping me was even like, I think this is a really good fit for you. And I was like, Oh, don't say that. Don't jinx it. You know? And then, um, that was it. It was just literally like one tape. Yeah. I think it might've been a couple of days where they, uh, they told me I was on hold. So it was sort of, you know, that you're being considered. Um, and it's like, it's kind of a painful waiting process. Cause you're like, okay, I know I might get it. I might not, you know, and you're waiting, but thankfully it all worked out in the film world. Things can happen quite fast. And also they can be excruciatingly slow. It really depends on the project. <laughs> so I was in a really fun um, Lifetime series of movies that were based on V.C. Andrews books. Um, it's called the Ruby series. And that aired end of March, uh, actually. And I, I filmed that right after When Calls the Heart. So it was really cool that both projects that I did at the end of last year kind of were coming out at the same time. It's very, very exciting. Um, but other than that, at the moment, I will be working on a film in September in Montreal. And I'm kind of just in the audition machine at the moment, as we all do, kind of waiting to see what's next. <laughs> Oh, oh, um, you know what? I was actually just comfort rewatching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, I it's such a 90s show, but it's like it's just so comforting. I love spooky things. Um, I love shows of that era, like Charmed. Um, it's just kind of classic and like comforting, <laughs> weirdly. <laughs> I'm a dual citizen actually. So I'm, I feel super lucky to be uh, a, an American and Canadian citizen um, through my parents. And 
I grew up in Texas and growing up in Houston, I um, stumbled into theater and that was how I started acting um, from a pretty young age. Um, I, I started doing dance and then I kind of found my way into musical theater and theater and um, wasn't until high school when I started doing film and I realized that I, I just really loved that medium and wanted to pursue that more. Out of high school, I actually went to an acting conservatory in New York. Um, so I went to the East Coast for a bit and I loved my time there. And then um, after I graduated that program, I moved to Vancouver and I've I've been here ever since and I love it. Hey, we have a we have a lot of successful Texans out there. I mean, Beyonce, Wes Anderson, Richard Linklater, you know, a lot of cool people out there. So thank you for watching the Sarah Scoop show. Head to sarahscoop.com for more.